Okay, everybody, we're working through rationals. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, at this function right here. We're going to find all these different pieces, and then we're going to actually plot it. So to start off with, I'm going to zoom in on that function. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to rewrite this okay, by, by factoring it here. So my numerator is going to become x and x. I need, fact, I need the product to be negative 8 and the sum here to be positive 2. So I am going to be looking at positive 4 minus 2. The denominator, uh, x squared plus 5x plus 4, so x, x, and what I'm going to get here is x plus 4, and then x plus 1. Okay, now this is going to be simplified. I can cancel out the x plus 4s, okay, and this will reduce to x minus 2 over x plus 1, but th those are only truly equal to each other as long as I state the restriction here that x cannot equal negative 4. And that gets, remember what we said before, when, when you have to do this, this is because of this, this term that we're factoring here. I'm able to remove this non-permissible from this, this function, okay? But I still have to state it because it was there in the original. And so that's why this becomes that point discontinuity. And so the x coordinate here is going to become negative 4. When I look uh, back up here at the function that I'm left with, the rational function, I'm left with an x plus 1 in the denominator that I can't simplify out, I can't cancel it out here. So there's a discontinuity that we're getting here, and we call that an essential discontinuity. x cannot equal negative 1, and that gets related to our vertical asymptote. x equals negative 1. Uh, when you take a look at the function that we're left with and you compare the degrees, okay, this is a first degree over a first degree, so you're just going to take and compare the leading coefficients, which will be 1 over 1. And so the horizontal asymptote here will be y equals 1. Uh, to get the, the y coordinate of the point discontinuity, I'm going to take that negative 4 and go to the simplified form here. Because notice that this simplified form does not actually have a problem at negative 4. I, I have to impose that on the problem. So like take the negative 4 and plug it in there. So negative 4 minus 2 would be negative 6. Uh, negative 4 plus 1 is going to be negative 3. And so negative 6 divided by negative 3, uh, the answer here is that that y coordinate is going to be positive 2. And so look at the information that we've got here. And remember that our domain and range are related to these values right here. I can tell you right now that my domain is going to have an issue at negative 1 and negative 4. So my domain down here, x cannot equal negative 1 or negative 4 my range is going to be affected by my horizontal asymptote and my point discontinuity. So down here I'm going to say that the range y cannot equal 1 or 2. And now my x and my y intercept, I'm going to, I'm going to get that from the, the final function here. Um, remember that this, if I was looking for the, the x-intercept here, what I would be doing is setting the y-coordinate equal to 0, which means, and I'll just kind of rub this, draw that in there, that means this function here would be equal to 0. Well, the x plus 1 is not having any bearing on this whatsoever, okay? Because the denominator cannot make an expression equal to 0. So it's got to be just the numerator. And if I, if I just look at, at the pieces that I'm left over here, what value of x means makes x minus 2 equal to 0? Positive 2. So what that means is my x-intercept here is going to be positive 2. And I come back and get rid of that 0. Going back up to here, if I want to figure out what the y-intercept is, I'm going to make the x-coordinate equal to 0, and I get negative 2 divided by 1, which means my y-intercept is negative 2. So now I've got all the, the properties here. I'm just going to zoom uh, out on this one. I've got all those properties here. Now it's a matter of plugging this stuff into the graph here. So first of all, I've got a vertical asymptote at negative 1, so let's draw that line in there. We've got a horizontal asymptote at y equals positive 1, so let's draw that in. And I've got a point discontinuity at negative 4, positive 2. Okay, so that's going to be an open circle right there. I've got an x-intercept of 2. It's going through there. And a y-intercept of negative 2. And based on what I know of the way these things should, should look here, this thing's going to look something like this. It's going to come up, pass through there, and then it's going to go up to that point discontinuity, and then it's going to shoot up and follow along the asymptote. 
And so that's what my function is going to look like.